Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Dictionary literally redefines assault rifle to give liberals edge in gun debate. As the anti-gun left seeks to undermine and ultimately do away with the Second Amendment protected right to keep and bear arms, they have largely focused their attention on what they call military-style assault weapons such as the incredibly common AR-15 type semi-automatic rifle and other firearms like it. In the wake of the February 14 Parkland school shooting, CNBC delved into the confusion surrounding the term assault weapon, a term devised by anti-gun advocates in the 1980s that is essentially based on military-style cosmetic features that have no bearing on how the firearm actually operates. That term, may be mistakenly but perhaps on purpose, is often conflated with the term assault rifle, which has long been understood to refer to actual military firearms that are capable of selective fire or the ability to switch between semi-automatic, one round per trigger squeeze, or fully automatic, multiple rounds per single trigger squeeze, that have been severely restricted for civilian use since the National Firearms Act of 1934. Unfortunately, that liberal conflation in two similar-sounding but wildly different terms was just given a rather big boost by the folks at the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, who updated their definition of assault rifle last week in a manner that would appear to support the liberal anti-gun argument, according to the Federalist. The new entry for assault rifle reads, any of various intermediate range, magazine-fed military rifles, such as the AK-47, that can be set for automatic or semi-automatic fire, also, a rifle that resembles a military assault rifle but is designed to allow only semi-automatic fire. The first portion of the definition is accurate, in that it notes an assault rifle features the capability of switching between semi-automatic and fully automatic fire. The second portion of that definition, not so much. To highlight the difference in the new definition versus the old, the Federalist dug up a cached version of the prior definition from June 2016, which simply read, any of various automatic or semi-automatic rifles with large-capacity magazines designed for military use. Though unknowledgeable and ignorant anti-gunners and their allies in the liberal media will often proclaim R-15s and their like-to-be weapons of war that are good only for military use, those rifles actually aren't designed for military use at all and only cosmetically resemble military weapons without sharing the same select fire capability. According to the National Shooting Sports Foundation, R-15s and similar semi-automatic only rifles are better termed modern sporting rifles in that they are keeping with the long tradition of civilian firearms designed for hunting and sport shooting being modeled after military firearms. The conflation of the terms assault weapon and assault rifle by the anti-gun crowd is a frighteningly Orwellian abuse of terminology designed to confuse American citizens and push them into supporting their gun control proposals. That deliberate conflation just received a huge boost from Merriam-Webster and its revised definition of assault rifle, which furthers the goal of drumming up support among an ignorant citizenry for a ban on what amounts to the typically black and modular military-style semi-automatic firearms, of which tens of millions are lawfully owned by Americans. It is incumbent for knowledgeable citizens to push back against this conflation in terms and attempt to educate as many others as possible about the very real distinction between actual military firearms and military-style rifles that anti-gun leftists are seeking to exploit to further their agenda. This rewriting of definitions to support anti-gun arguments must not be allowed to stand without being called out and denounced as it directly threatens our natural right to keep and bear arms that was recognized and protected by the Constitution. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.